our doggy diva won't come down unless she's carried. She just makes grunting noise so we can come and get her. There we go. There we go, We just want Victoria to come in and give us her life back. I'm really looking forward to meeting Molly. French Bulldogs are very smart and loving dogs, and they love spending time with their families, which isn't surprising because they were bred to be companion dogs. But it seems like this little Frenchie has got her owners very well trained. Time to meet this two-year-old madam. Hello, hello, hello you. Who's that, Mom? Are you and I going to be friends? Because we got to do some things together. Well, I don't think that that's the greatest thing to do. Yes. French Bulldogs are known for their friendly temperament, making them a very popular breed. They have irresistible faces, but because they're bred with such short noses, they can have some difficulty breathing, making them quite noisy dogs to live with. Frenchies are clever, compact canines with muscular shoulders and chests, but short legs, usually standing at a grand height of around 35 centimetres. Small dogs often don't like stairs, and they're next for Victoria to check out. She goes up the stairs OK. That's not a problem. This is what happens when we come down the stairs. Yeah, she just won't come down. As she turns her head away, she's saying, no, can't do it. And we have to carry her down, which can be uh, a bit dangerous on, on steep stairs like that. Yes, it is, because they are very steep. Yeah. Has she ever had an accident? Has she ever fallen downstairs at all? As far as, as we know, and she's never fallen down the stairs, not while we've had her, no. She's OK on a step. If it's literally just one or two one a or step, two. she's fine. It's a staircase. OK. Research shows that despite dogs' memories not working like a human's, dogs are able to recall previous owners and traumatic experiences. But without knowing Molly's past, there's no way to pinpoint the cause of her behaviour. However, Victoria can help them with the future. And Victoria doesn't think this is diva behaviour. I'm looking at the stairs from Molly's point of view. Think about the weight in the front of, of her. She's a French bulldog, so all of her weight is in the front. front yeah. And I think when she comes to the top of these stairs, mm -hmm. the reason why she cannot come down mm -hmm. is because she feels really unbalanced and unsafe. Yeah. Have you ever looked at the stairs from this low down? No, never. I want you to do that now. And let me see that. He's like, what is happening? What does that feel like? It feels very narrow and very steep. There is a risk that she could put a step wrong and fall. So maybe putting a baby gate up here so that she can't get up. Yeah. In order to be safer for you, you're going to carry her in one arm and you're going to have the other arm on the banister. Oh, that's so much safer. The stairs are going to be a lot less scary place for all of you. What about the stairs? Yeah, the stair gate's all up. And coming down the stairs with her in one arm and Yeah, I hold on at the banister okay, and good. then she's under my arm and that's fine. So okay. it's worked. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.